I'm so confused. Is it recording now? Are you recording? Hold up, this light. There we go. I am recording. What is up you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are a subscriber, What's up? It's been a minute. If you're someone just stumbling across my video, hello, my name is Crystal and I am a blogger over on Instagram, TikTok, and of course here on YouTube. And I'm also a social media strategist and coach for your favorite bloggers. I love my job and a lot has changed since the last time I recorded a video. So I am getting on here to chat with you all about 2020, my life, what has changed, how things are going. It's been a while and I definitely needed to come on here and update you guys. Before I started whipping out videos here and there, I just wanted to give a little bit of a breakdown of how I've been and kind of what's been happening to let you guys in on what's happening and a few things that were kind of traumatizing and and life-changing that happened in 2020 and obviously there was a pandemic all of us are going through it but aside from that something else happened that I just wasn't ready to talk about a couple of vlogs ago and I didn't really mention it on YouTube but I did talk about it briefly on Instagram and I I kind of post here and there about it and 2020 was a roller coaster to say the least right so beginning of 2020 I had just kind of gotten a really good grip on my career on social media in terms of working with brands steadily steadily and like just being really excited to be in this space and then shortly after me getting the grip my brother got sick which if you didn't know I have three or I have three older brothers and my oldest brother got sick Wow, it's been a minute. I thought I could do this. I'm an eight race, no bitch. Okay. My oldest brother got sick in April, right? Or no, not even, because he passed him. He passed in March. He was sick a month prior. I got my months mixed up. And it's hard for me to like hold eye contact I'm sorry if I look off just because I'm trying not to cry um, he got sick and he was already formally sick he had been you know over the past years he had been in and out of the hospital he he had um, suffered congestive heart failure and he also had diabetes which he not to go into too much detail because obviously that is his own personal life and his own personal information and he does have kids and I want to be 100% respectful. Um, it was it was blindsided. We did not expect it and he had gone in and out of the hospital quite a few times over the years that when he did go in the hospital this last time, a lot of us were like, all right, here we go again, strap up. Like, he's only going to be there for a month and... You know we'll be good because that's how we were conditioned because of everything that he had went through prior and that wasn't the case and when he went in the hospital um, coronavirus had not quite started yet so we were able to visit him and I was in and out of the hospital almost daily if not daily every other day I was driving um, they had moved him to a hospital 45 minutes away so I made it a point to see him when I could which if it wasn't every day it was every other day and um, I think I had checked out during everything. <laughs> Fuck. I don't want this to be long-winded, but I also want to be transparent because 2020 was fucked. But also, it was like a huge year of growth for me. <sighs> Anyways, in short, I had kind of checked out. I was going to visit him, but I was so numb to it all. All of us, all of us, his daughter, his oldest, 21, um, uh, my parents, my brothers, family, like everyone came to see him. He's, he was so loved. Oh, fuck. Okay, hold on. 
we didn't we knew what was coming the doctors had explained to us that um his heart was just going it's so ironic because my mom and I we had mentioned like damn I feel like he passed of a broken heart and that's not what it was but he just was still a really tough hand of cards his whole life and his heart just gave out um his heart gave out and he passed of a congestive heart failure and it was like rough it, it took a hit on all of us it still does daily it hasn't even been a full year yet he passed March 19th um, and then the whole reason I'm bringing this up is he was my biggest fan and he would tell me constantly Chris you're gonna make it Of course, someone's car alarm. Of course. Oh um, I don't even know where I left off. I had to get tissue. But he was my biggest fan. And he would always tell me, like, Chris, you're going to make it. Like, and he would brag about me to everyone. And, and literally, it was so sweet. And he would say, you know, my sister, she's an influencer, she's a blogger, and he would tell people, follow my sister. And so when he passed away, when he passed away, I made it a promise to myself and to him that I was going to make it. Because in his eyes, in his eyes, he was like, my sister made it. He's so sweet. I still have such a way to go, but I made a promise to myself and a promise to him that I'm gonna fucking make it. And after he passed, we had to go through the motions and I couldn't see him. My parents were the last to see him and with coronavirus, it was just a shit show. So my niece and I, um, had to prepare everything. We had to go to the funeral home and make a lot of <sighs> We had to make a lot of heavy decisions that I and I'm, I'm so sure she wasn't prepared for <laughs> and um, We had to put off his memorial because fucking coronavirus, we can't have get-togethers, and we still haven't been able to have it, and so it's been rough, and I don't say any of this to, to discount anybody else's struggles, because everyone struggles, but I say this to give an update, on, and my mindset after he passed, I was like, this is it, like, I'm making this promise, I'm done letting fear control my life, because I I have so much potential and I allowed fear to push me back. The fear of what other people would think, the fear of what if, like what what if I do blow up, how, how are people going to perceive me and um, I stopped that and so April and this is where April came in mind from before, April I launched my creator course which essentially is a course designed to help women and now men it's it's grown into such a huge success now men i help all bloggers navigate the space and learn how to monetize their platform because i was that blogger who was scared to ask people for help and i was just so headstrong on i'm just gonna figure it out myself and sometimes you do need help and i launched that it's been a crazy success um since then i've signed with different brands that have like these contracts are things that I could only have dreamed of and if he was here I mean he always said it right so I always think like I hope that he like he sees and he knows I'm doing this for him because my brother was such a dreamer like so funny he was such a dreamer 
like he had his own crazy dreams and I just feel like like me he allowed fear and other things to get in the way and so now update <laughs> I have oh my god and I don't want this to come off as unhumble or but I needed this video to happen before I go and show you where I'm at now now I have a thriving coaching business I have such a loyal following that I'm so grateful for oh my god I'm so sorry guys I'm so sorry I have a tribe right a following that is so loyal and I'm so grateful for it and it you know this community continues to grow and something that my tribe continues to ask me is like Chris when are you getting back on YouTube and I'm like you know what I was allowing fear again to get in the way of me continuing on YouTube just fearful of being raw and just showing me through and through because there are parts of me that I protect, right? Like, I'm really goofy, I'm weird. Um, and I think some of that comes across on my Instagram stories, but like, sis could get a little weird. <laughs> and uh, I was just nervous to fully commit to YouTube because I knew that this is my last step, right? To complete this puzzle and to mold the community and fuse it together, if that even makes sense. This is what goes through my head. And I was scared and I'm not scared anymore. I'm not scared anymore. This is me, take it or leave it, right? I'm gonna be coming on here and being Chris, talking my shit, <laughs> coming on real, raw, authentic, um, sharing my family, which, I mean, if you couldn't tell, means everything to me. And I hope you guys stick around and join the shit show. <laughs> Like, stick around because there's going to be so much good stuff coming aside from fashion hauls, aside from hair, makeup, because I think all of that's amazing. But I want this channel to be dedicated to my brother and showcasing what he would have wanted me to showcase, which is Chris at home, meaning Chris with family. my makeup's a mess but um he would have wanted me to show you guys why we go so hard for each other for our family for the Heredia name because we truly even to this day we are all so loyal to each other um my oldest brothers, two oldest brothers, um, my parents, like we are so tightly knit and I just feel like some platforms are missing that, right? They're missing that uh, raw, tightly knit family, no bullshit, uncut and I'm here to bring that and I'm really, really excited so my brother's name was Michael. We called him Chachi. So I'm going to end off this video with Chachi, this is for you. And this is only the beginning, guys. So get ready for the shit show. I hope you stick around and subscribe. You probably think I'm an emotional ass, but moving forward now, that I've kind of gotten that off my chest. I'll feel more real coming on and sharing 
our shit show <laughs> of a family and just me in business growing this crazy idea that I had in my head and now seeing it come to fruition is amazing so yeah that's it <laughs> if you're new sorry for the tears if you're not then you already know how I am it's not always I don't think it's ever actually ever like this so this is probably new for all of you but this is my update and I cannot wait to bring you guys into my life behind the scenes and show you how spicy with that sprinkle of sazon my family and also myself can be and how fun we are and I know that you guys are going to enjoy it so much so expect makeup tutorials, expect hair, expect vlogs, expect family, nieces, nephews, cousins. I am obsessed with my cousins, they know this. Um, aunts, uncles, expect it all and expect it to be real, raw, uncensored, fun um, and yeah. Thank you guys for watching. If you watch to the end, I love you to my core and I cannot wait to bring you guys the content that you have been waiting for. So I'll see you in my next video, guys. Love you. Bye.